Come around, got the whole thing wobbing. What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Today, EA ended up dropping the new Domination promo here in Madden Mobile 24. We also got some new Madden Max players that we could go over. We got a new 280 overall Bo Jackson, and we got a 280 Warren Sat that we could grind for. Uh, we also got four new players right here. We got a Devin Witherspoon at corner. We got a Kurt Warner at quarterback, Sam LaPorter. And we got a Tony Boselli that we could grind for. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get multiple Iconics, no money spent. Normally with these promos, you can get two to three Iconics if you're consistent with the challenges. When it came to the last Flashbacks promo, I opened up my second Iconic yesterday. We ended up getting, who did we get? Who did we get? We got the fullback. We got Blasting Game in our last video. He brought our uh, offense up to a 172, which is nice. That brought our entire team power rating up to a 5230. So with this promo, it looks like it lasts just over a week. So let's see what's popping. All right, we're going to go over the challenges. And there's also a boss event that I'm going to show you guys how to beat. So we got two different sections. We got the journey and we got the gauntlet. Okay, we'll start things off with the journey. So you start right here. The first event is rush for 30 yards. We'll go ahead and play through this real quick and then um, we'll go through the rest of it. These events normally don't take that long to complete. All we got to do is get 30 rushing yards. I really need a running back for my team. I like these uniforms. I like the all purple. We should be able to get these for our squad just from you know grinding through the promo. What I like to do is I like to score the touchdown because sometimes with these new promos, they have objectives where you have to run for 75 yards and pass for 75 yards. So you always wanna just get that out the way just in case there are additional objectives. In this case, there aren't, but you know, it's always good to, to try it out. So the bottom section, all right, the bottom section requires no program stamina. You get 25 of these tokens from uh, completing these bottom events. As we click through, it doesn't increase, but the last event gives you an uncommon domination player. That's the first section, and you don't have to have a specific team power to complete this first section of events. When it comes to the second one though, you don't unlock it unless you play through the first section. All right, so you have to do everything in order. You wanna get this out the way right now so that every single day you log on, you can go to the higher overall events. So it goes all the way up to a 52.05 team power. We're currently at 52.30, so it looks like we could play all of these events, which is nice. The last time we had a promo style like this, I wasn't able to play the last section. I had to utilize the weight room to upgrade my overall. So if you guys do not have a 52.05 team power rating, you can use the weight room and you can increase your overall so that you are eligible to play these events. But the rewards get better as you progress. Once you get through the final section of events, you're guaranteed a rare or better domination player. But down here, you're guaranteed 100 domination tokens for the first win. So make sure you guys are getting this done. If I were you, I wouldn't even touch these purple events up here until you get all the way through the journey because you're getting better rewards for your program stamina with this section right here you're guaranteed 60 of these domination points up here all right you get 50 from from that event 50 from that event you want to auto play this event that guarantees you 60 first you want to use your program stamina on this so that you're not wasting your program stamina you get more bang for your buck auto playing this event compared to this 50 stamina event. Once you run out of tries here, that's when you wanna go down to the 50 stamina event. But like I said, you wanna do this one first. So that is how you get these domination tokens. You exchange the domination tokens for domination uncommons, and you exchange the uncommons for the rares, you exchange the rares for the epics, and the epics for the iconics. Let's go over here to the gauntlet now, all right? So, complete the gauntlet. It says over here on the left side, complete the gauntlet to unlock the boss node. All right, the gauntlet ends 
on june 15th okay so keep that in mind guys the promo is lasting for two total weeks and it ends you know on the 15th right here's the gauntlet mode or my bad this is uh the domination boss challenge you win the game in the fourth quarter you're going up against an 8273 overall team if you beat this you get the sovereign logo and you also get the name play so those are the only rewards you're getting from that you're not guaranteed an epic normally from these boss challenges they grant you an epic player unfortunately uh, for this promo you don't get an epic which is somewhat annoying but at the end of the day you still want to get the logo you still want to get the nameplate because it looks nice you know strictly cosmetics it doesn't really help you in the promo so right here we got these events win the game after halftime that doesn't give you anything let me clean my eyes real quick that's kind of weird these events don't give you anything this one right here okay so you want to grind this out all right you have to win after halftime i'm not going to play this right now because it's going to take too long you could uh choose block shedding or throw accuracy i believe all right you play this event that's going to unlock this event right here um well no this is a reward so you beat the event there's level one there's level two level three level four and level five after each level the rewards increase okay so the first reward gives you let me see what are these up here these are domination player shards so this event gives you one shard and you get a hundred domination tokens the second event gives you another shard with two with a uh, 150 that that makes it 250 domination tokens after the third level you get another shard and 200 tokens that's uh what is that that's 450 tokens total this one gives you another 250 so that's 700 tokens and then right here you get 350 tokens so after grinding through the entire gauntlet you get 1050 total tokens as well as five domination shards when we go over here to trades we have the currency exchange okay these tokens like i said grant you uncommon players i normally go for the uncommon select because i like to throw them into the player collector this set grants you two rare domination players for just seven specific uncommon players that's why you want to go for you know the select because you can select the specific players that go into the set and uh, once you get all seven that's going to give you two of these rare domination players i never go for this one right here because uh you get more bang for your buck doing this set right here the currency exchange if we go down here these are the shard trade-ins once you get through and once you get through the entire gauntlet you're guaranteed an epic or better player all right so remember 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 uh when i first went through it you know normally like i said normally from the boss event from the boss event you're guaranteed an epic player in this case just from playing through the entire gauntlet you're going to get enough domination shards to uh get an uh epic or better player you have a chance at pulling an iconic which is nice so make sure you guys get the gauntlet out the way immediately so that you can get your free epic player today all right you don't want to do this set right here you can either throw in your five shards in this set or you could throw it in this set right here you want to get your guaranteed epic player over let's see if we do the math you're at uh 1625 total uh tokens you're better off getting the free epic player compared to the 1625 tokens so keep that in mind use your shards on this set do not use it on this set right here that's how ea tries to play you when we take a look at the iconic players these players are 198 overalls from the last promo uh there were 190s so we got a plus eight overall increase when it comes to you know this promo we got a devin witherspoon we got a kurt warner a sam laporta we got a tony boselli christian barrymore and we got a bradley pinion we don't want the bradley pinion we don't want the kurt warner uh we definitely want the christian barrymore we don't want the sam laporta uh the tony boselli he's an offensive tackle i could actually use him i don't really want him though but i could use him the two players i want are the devin witherspoon and the christian barrymore let me know in the comments down below which players you guys want from this first section of uh iconics 
uh, midway through the promo, they normally drop like three different sets of players. So before they drop the next set of players, you want to get your first iconic complete. Since this promo is 15 total days, you're going to be able to get three of these iconics, no money spent, since you're guaranteed one epic player today. We're looking for the Baramore first. It'll be nice to get the Witherspoon as well, but we don't want anybody else, all right? Witherspoon and Baramore is who I want. And I would say four days in, all right? By the end of the weekend, today is, uh, today's Friday. So we got Friday, we got Saturday and Sunday maybe even monday all right they'll probably drop another group of players on monday but by monday you want to be very close to your first iconic tuesday is when you want to guarantee your first iconic all right if you if you can get your first iconic player by monday or tuesday then you'll be on track to getting three of these iconics no money spent they're going to be dropping two more sets of players so just keep your head down get the gauntlet done today and just stay on point with the events and you'll be good to go like i said all right i just logged onto the game it's 11 26 right now you want to get through the journey asap all right it's going to take a decent amount of time you want to get through the journey asap you you want to stay away from these events up top until you get to the last stage once you get to the last stage that is when you want to use your program stamina and auto play these events you always want to watch your stamina ads so that you could uh you know get an additional 50 stamina and uh once the new field pass comes out in a couple of days you want to go ahead and spend the 250 cash to get an additional 200 event stamina every single day to complete the daily objectives all right there is also a domination event pass that um gives you additional rewards so make sure you go through this you get additional program stamina and once you get through the entire domination event pass you can get a domination pack which guarantees you two uncommon or better domination players you don't want to purchase it you just all you have to do is just do your daily objectives every day and you'll easily get through this event pass all right so make sure you guys are focusing on that that is going to wrap it up for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to click that like button make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow because i will be live streaming some nba infinite so stay tuned for that peace out